Hi, it's your host, Brian David Delaney Starr from the StarQuest channel. And I'm here with Kevin Rothman Degadon, who is a creator, writer, editor, reporter, another one of the New Yorkers who's changing the world and making the world a better place. Kevin, how are you doing today? Pretty good. I know you've got some very interesting poetry that you've written, and, and you've got quite a story. So I'd like to tell a little bit about yourself and about this poem. What's the name of the poem, first of all? Uh, the poem is called The Day Before. The Day Before. How do you like those apples? The Day Before. Kevin's own poem. He's going to read it to you, but you want to give us a little bit of insight on the poem. about Well, how you... the insight is that um, I wrote the poem. I originally was a Toastmaster speech, not a poem that I wrote in... On September 10th of of 2000, of 2000 and one yeah. no that no that was 2006 but 2007 I wrote I wrote this the speech okay and then the following year September 10th of 2008 I <coughs> sorry I felt inspired to write this uh, this one Wait, as a poem I'd like to ask you a question what was your inspiration for writing this particular poem okay um. Well, the experience of, of September 11th was an uh, experience that, that turned my life upside down when it happened. I mean, I was, like, was. like most people, I was just a very young man struggling to figure out my occupation in life and what I was meant to do. And my focus was on, you know, how do I make money? How do I get part of the dot-coms that was big, although they were kind of falling at the time. And... I mean, I had my the spiritual side of life too that I was kind of in the process of experiencing. But there were all these things. There were like little bits and pieces that never seemed to really come together. And that one uh, morning when I was just waking up for work, very mundanely, and, and suddenly everything just was completely turned on its head, and my whole sense of reality was was thrown into question. Okay. And so you wrote this poem after that. Well, it, it wasn't my uh, initial reaction. My initial reaction was I had to do something. And so that year... A real New Yorker. That year ended up with going from being in the tech world to being to teaching a summer camp during the summer to unexpectedly finding myself preparing to, to join the military and essentially go to war. So you actually did join the military? Yes. Excellent. And, but that ended up not working. I was sent back after a month. Okay. So I was aimless until... A year or two later, when I saw this video reflecting on the experience, that it all pieced together and came to me, and I realized I had to start some kind of program teaching the meaning of civil society uh, to future generations. Fantastic. Well, listen, give us your poem, because we're anxious to hear it okay, now. you got me poem, excited. The poem was just reflecting on all of that and trying to just put words in a sense of cut, trying to get the world to just understand my mind and experience and what I was trying to, what I felt called and all this to do. So the, it's called the day before, and it, so it's written about really reflecting on the before and the after, with a poignant sense of irony and and, and uh, uh, drama and and just reflection. So okay. okay. So one thing. Well, now I'd like to give an introduction to the poem, "The Day Before." Here's Kevin. Okay, so here's the day before, uh, and I'll just read it straight at this point. The first Monday after Labor Day that establishes the agenda of the coming fall, the end of all the summer play, I still remember it all. Where were you on that day? But not that Monday of the 10th, with our minds in the mundane, when all that would fall hence would never be the same. Where were you on that day? I thought of the markets as I wandered through space, and mused of the future in my place. Where were you on that day? But of all the faithful journeys of life had led, could I fathom the world turned upon its head? I'd worked with computers, looked after kids, but who would know what I would do from what I did? To be a soldier willing to die, with eyes blazed anxiously to the sky. It's in these intense moments lived, shocked and raged, to deeply sad. The ex existential rings imperative to know all that we have. But can we bring posterity amidst the harrowing strife for a civil world of unity and give meaning to our life? Tomorrow we'll be reminded once again of all the toils of war, but today we stop and reflect instead on life the day before. Where are you on this day? Wow, Kevin, I think that's fantastic. Guys, the day before... 
Kevin. Fantastic. Guys, stay tuned to the StarQuest channel. It's your host, Brian David Delaney Star. And once again, Kevin, thank you so much for your reading, for your poetry. Stay tuned. We'll have more with Kevin in future moments. God bless each and every one of you. And thank you for watching. Shalom.